that's the entrance to the big hall. Stakeman Hall, it's called. Mm -hmm. And the children have eurythmy. It's not that I was yeah, being a eurythmy teacher. No. But I had an understanding of all those yes. things. Yes. And I could work on plays, on acting, on drama with them. It was enormously helpful anyway. Yeah. But I strongly went into anthroposophy then. It was my great interest. Uh, pretty much from the beginning, my parents left me very free because uh, they knew Rudolf Steiner personally. And oh, uh, they, met, they still met him. They still met him wow. and they were at the Congress in Vienna where he spoke. Mm -hmm. And uh, they took uh, very seriously that he said, you have to leave human beings free, yes. entirely free to make up their own mind. Yeah, and to find you their can, own destiny. And find their own destiny. You yes. can make them aware of it. You can offer yes. the lectures, the books, whatever it is yes. to yes. them. Yes. And then each one really has to see, is this the path for me? Does yeah. it speak to me? Yeah. Does it inwardly engage me? Yeah. Do, do I say yes to that? Yes. Does it meet what I really need? Yes. And one of the aspects for Steiner, of course, is, he wrote the philosophy of freedom, right. is that every human being has total freedom yeah. to decide what that path should be for yeah. him or her. Yeah. Yeah. And so my parents were parents that left us very free from the time really when we were 14 mm -hmm. uh, they said now you're 14 you can begin to make your own choices yes. we are there for you anytime you yes. want to hear what we have to say about it yeah uh, but you can take on now um, this finding your own path right and when you came to the college when you came back to america mm -hmm. yeah um uh, how how did that uh, play out? In other words, um, uh, did you really feel that it was your destiny to, to do the work here? Well, once I came here, I connected really well with the country. Mm -hmm. uh, as yeah, First, I took a class in Germany, in Mannheim, Germany with the 45 children in mm -hmm. my class exactly but then we came over here we is also my husband right who was a Waldorf teacher and uh, we taught here at the Waldorf school in Sacramento oh yes and uh, I took a class through there mm -hmm. and um, that means for eight years for eight years yes <laughs> yes you know people have no one no understanding it is a fantastic Six path eight. yeah because you take the children when they're in first grade yes. and you see them develop yeah and you really are with them from year to year so that you really know them you really know them very well you know yeah. when they're going through something yes. you are there to support them you know that they will overcome it you trust in their destiny you are there you work with the parents yes. it is a delight and i always mm -hmm. loved teaching. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. There was nothing I preferred more than being a Waldorf teacher and seeing how the children developed yeah. and what came out of them then when they were teenagers. Right. The depth of inquiry that they had, the questions that lived in them concerning who am I, why yeah. am I here in this world, and what am I to do here? Well, they're finding their destiny again. That, I mean, in yeah. a teenage year, and then you get yes. to be 17, 18 in the first moon node. Yes, I exactly. Mean, you know, exactly. such a turning point. It is a fantastic turning point, and it's, it shows how that time is the time when they begin to question, what do I want to do? Yeah. Why am I here in this life? Exactly. What is my calling? It's not yeah. so much, what will my job no, be? No, we no. really have to find 
yeah, why am I truly here? Yeah, exactly. This is the important step, and that is the step that fulfills us yeah. in life later on. Yeah. It's not so much how much money we make no. or uh, what position or what no. title. But, but people is... aren't happy when they make a lot of money, so yeah. <laughs> that doesn't make them happy. Exactly. It's, it's like if you're saying that you came to America the first time when you were 17, 18. Yes, around, yes. So that was your first new moon node. Did you right. then come? You, you did you then come back at the second moon node? I came back before that. Actually, Just before. in my twenties. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Uh huh. I came back fairly regularly, but moved here then. Uh, later on. Well, that's what I mean, because if you took the class through, yeah. it sort of sounds like the second oh, yeah. node. <laughs> I, I absolutely lived here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. But What um, was the transition then from being a Waldorf teacher to that you actually took out a responsibility for the college? Were your parents oh, yeah. already gone by that time? Well, my parents really started this college. Right. Yes. Right. And they worked here for a number of years. And when I then came back from Germany, my husband and I, and I took a class down at the Waldorf School mm -hmm. in 78, 79. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, something like that. Um, then I focused mostly on the children, but here Rene Carrido uh, had already started the teacher training aspect. Right, right. And the teachers often came down into mm -hmm. my classroom. Yes, for observation and, uh, and yes. And very many for observation, mm -hmm. but I also taught them already yeah. at that time. Yeah, yeah. When I was done with the children, they came down the hill and right. I taught adults then. Wow. And first Clifford Monks was here at the college doing the teacher training part. And when he decided to leave, then Rene Carrido called me in Germany, where I was at the time, doing teacher training in Mannheim, Germany. He called me and said that I'm desperately needed here at the college. There you go. And would I please come back? Yeah. So, so, and this is how I finally so you, came here. <laughs> and and you, how many years has it been that you've been at the college? Uh, about 80 since uh, 89, 88, 89. 89. Somewhere there. Yeah. 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 So that's Could quite, have been a, 88. Yeah. Quite, quite a stretch. Yeah. Yes. Quite a stretch. So, yes. and of course, in all these years, uh, how many teachers have gone through? I mean, it is phenomenal. Oh, yeah. You know? Lots and lots. And it's lots. wonderful when I go around the country here yeah. and meet everywhere yeah. former students. Yes, and, yes. Uh, and that makes me schools. feel at home everywhere. Yes. So it's a big community. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Well, I do wish you lots of, I mean, not just you personally, but for the college, I wish you lots of success. And, Thank you. And uh, hope that all the young people find this place and... Uh, yes, I hope so. You know, do what... Uh, because I think, yeah. like I say, I think the biggest challenge that the young ones have is to find their destiny. Yes. Because there are so many obstacles in their way. Right, right. Yeah. yeah. And I do believe when they come here, they uh, get in touch with themselves and yeah. find again yeah. what they're here for. Exactly, exactly. I mean, I have many stories of young people who've told me that. Absolutely. So, yeah. you know, we I hear it all the time. All the time. Yeah. And all the arts that we do here, yes. of course, are awakeners exactly. and uh, reawaken the artist in everyone. Yeah. 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 And that is a help too. Well, thank you very much. Astrid Schmidt-Stegmann. <laughs> Thank you.